In this lesson, we'll start creating a prop protection solid. After completing this lesson, you'll be able to create a surface extend, create a split body, and remove a body. The next step in our process is going to be to trim this geometry out. And there are a few different ways that we can do this. We can do it before we create a solid, we can trim it as a surface, or we could thicken it and then trim it as a solid. And either method is going to be fine. You will get some varying results that we want to talk about though. Now remember, when you use a thicken operation, what you're actually doing is you're taking the material, the surface that we're working with, and you're taking it out normal to the curvature. So the first thing I want to do in this case is I'm actually going to extend both of these edges out a little bit. And the reason I want to do that is because when I thicken this, I want to make sure that I have enough material to cut. So there are two options that we can use here, natural and tangent. Now you'll notice that tangent doesn't work in this case, but natural does, and there's no division on the surface, so it's gonna give us a nice smooth curvature transfer. So we're gonna go ahead and say okay. Now the distance ultimately doesn't matter as long as we're extending out far enough for us to trim it, and you can see it's rolling over a little bit in this corner, but we're starting our trim from here, so again, that doesn't really affect what we're doing. But now what we're gonna do is we're gonna show sketch six, and I'm gonna go ahead and rename sketch six while I'm at it. I'm gonna call this landing gear. And what we wanna do is we wanna keep this original arc and we wanna make sure that we trim away and we blend to it. So what I'm gonna do is start a new sketch on the top plane and I wanna bring that arc in as a reference. So I'm gonna select it and hit P on the keyboard to project it and say okay. And then I wanna hide my landing gear sketch. So now I can take my arcs and I can go from this point to the end and go from this point to the end as well. Now we wanna select these two and make them tangent. And as soon as we do that, it automatically projects this edge in for us. And do the same thing on the other side, make those tangent. And now you can see that we've fully defined it. Because these are not equal to each other, we have a little bit different situation here. Uh, we, we don't necessarily need them to be equal, but we don't also have to add any more dimensions or constraints. They're fully defined right now. So at this point, we could use this as a trim for the surface, but I also want to explore what this looks like when we thicken it. So under Create, we're going to go down to Thicken, and we're going to select this body, and we want to thicken it inward 8 millimeters. Now things get a little crazy when we do this because of the curvature in this corner, but again, we're trimming that away, so we're not too concerned with it. So we're gonna say okay, and we're gonna take a look at what we did. So again, those corners, those areas where the curvature changed drastically, the thicken doesn't look very nice, but that's okay because again, we're trimming it away. And on the bottom, you can see if we look at this from the front, we don't have a nice flat area for us to land with. Now, if we show body three, you can see here is the original body that we're working with. And what we'd like is a nice flat section where this goes to land. If we go into our origin and we take a look at our planes, you can see that this line right here, which is our sketch, intersects here and everything that's thickened is below it. So that means that we can trim it away really without any problems. We can get that nice flat geometry on the bottom. But let's take a look at cutting this from the top. So we have our sketch here, and a couple ways that we can do this is to create an extrude cut like you normally would do with other geometry, or we can come in to modify and say split body. So the body to split is gonna be our thicken, and our splitting tool, we have to rotate around, is going to be these edges. Now it's only gonna allow us to do one edge because the one in between is not something that we sketched, but that's okay, we'll do one at a time. So now what it does is it creates two bodies from this one. So you can see here body eight and body seven. And if I hide body seven, we take a look at it from the top. The cut is nice and normal to our top plane, which means if I rotate it around, it's gonna match this edge. Even though it's thickened out in this direction right here, it matches this edge. So when we combine everything together, we'll be perfectly fine. So we're gonna take a look at that sketch one more time. We're gonna use the same split body split this body, we're gonna use this sketch. And uh, just another tip for you while I'm thinking about it, if you hold down the left mouse button, it'll bring up a selection for you. 
All right, so we can instantly grab sketch curve without having to rotate around. You can also change the way that you select by using your selection priority and selection filters. So right now we have select through and you could simply turn it to just select sketch curves instead of faces. And that would simplify the selection process as well. So we're gonna say okay. And now body nine is the one we wanna keep and body eight is this corner that we don't need anymore. In order to get rid of them in here, we wanna select them by holding down the control key or the shift key. We wanna right click and we wanna select remove. If you select delete, it'll delete those bodies as well as any relations that go with them. That means any sketches, any parent features, they will completely be removed. But if you right click and you use the remove, it actually puts a feature in the timeline. That way you can go back and suppress or delete it at any point in time to bring that feature back. The next thing that we wanna do is we wanna trim away some material and we wanna round these corners as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna hide body top copy and I'm only gonna keep body three and body nine. Now at some point in time, we will rename these bodies, but as we go along and we create some of these features, we wanna make sure that um, until we get to the point where they're all combined in one, we don't really worry too much about naming them. So right now, what I'd like to do is cut some more information away. I, I don't think we need this brace here and I wanna take away some material here to keep it as light as possible outside of the center of mass. So we're gonna achieve that by taking a look at the top down cut the sketch that's right here and we want to start a new sketch on the top plane so again we're just going to grab the top plane and because we have these inside edges I'm going to go ahead and project those and I also want to project these two outside edges and say okay I'm going to use an offset I'm going to offset this in minus 10 millimeters and we'll do the same thing again using my marking menu the 12 o'clock position is going to be a repeat command. So if I just hit the right mouse button, you see repeat offset is in there. And I'm gonna repeat the offset on this bottom edge here. And notice that it doesn't allow me to select that bottom edge. So sometimes you'll get this when an offset won't allow you to automatically select an edge, but we can project it and then it'll be available to use as an offset. Notice that it's grabbing the entire chain now. So if we turn off chain selection, and reselect this edge, it'll just be a single entity. So now this one's not necessarily gonna be 10 millimeters because of the way that our curvature works out, but we're gonna come in minus 15 millimeters and see how that works out for us. Now at this point in time, the last thing that we need is to connect these edges to these right here. So I'm gonna do this by drawing a straight line and because we have tangency here, that should automatically give us tangency there as well. And now we have this inside profile that we can select to make our extrude cut. Now, if you wanna hide the body, sometimes that can help as well, and take a look at what we have. So from a top view, because we're using the show profile option, you can see that these areas are able to be extruded, but this area right here isn't. And that's telling me that I don't have this line here and we need to project it. So I'm gonna use P on the keyboard. And now we have that complete closed profile that we want to extrude cut. You don't have to worry about trimming any of the excess off of here. And honestly, leaving it is a much better option because when you delete it or trim it, it's gonna remove this dimension. So we're gonna go ahead and leave that excess and stop the sketch. We can hide the top down cut. We can show body three and body nine. And we can go back to our model workspace and create an extrude and simply pull this up through. Now under objects to cut, if we expand this, it'll automatically cut body three and body nine for us, and that's okay. So this is the starting point of our landing gear. And again, going back to the original way that we made this body by creating an extrude, it simplifies the process of adding these additional bodies because we know everything can be cut normal to the top plane. We don't have to worry about the direction of curvature if we're using a bunch of thick ends or anything like that. And another note for you, you could also create all this as a single surface and then thicken it if you wanted to. The last thing that we wanna do at this point in time is we wanna get rid of this extra piece on the bottom. So what we're gonna do is create a split body, which we can do from the model workspace. And our body to split, again, is this landing gear portion. And the splitting tool in our case is going to be the XZ or top plane. And we're gonna say, okay. 
So now if we take a look at this body nine, it's this lower portion. And if we hide it, it gives us that nice flat bottom. So I'm going to right click, I'm going to remove body nine. And now I've got the starting point for our landing gear and our prop protection. So again, it's good to save often. I'm going to go ahead and make a new version of this save. And that way we can move on to the next step.